hello today we are starting with a simple program in java okay so i have written one class class simple inside that i am having one method that is public static void main and arguments are passed that is a string arguments and then i am having one statement that is system dot out dot print line and inside that i have written hello hello java so basically this program will print simple hello java on the console okay now just try to understand each and every part of this java program so first we are having keyword class class it is a keyword okay which is used to define any class in a java so what should be the syntax for declaring any class that is a keyword class followed by name of your class okay inside class like a c or the c++ program we, we will be having one entry point of entry point function that is nothing but our word main function but here in jvm we are having slight difference in this different uh, this void main function is slight different in java okay we just have to add this public and we have to add this static and some arguments are passed now we will see what is this uh, so public we know that each and every method or each and every da uh, data member in java or in a c++ must be having some access specifier which will which will make that particular data member or the member function visible to all or restricted right so whenever you de declare any method as a public method the meaning is that it will be visible to all right so this word main function will be visible to all as we have written here public keyword now we are having static so whenever you write a static keyword before any method meaning is that that function is a static function so what is the advantage of defining any function as a static is that it doesn't require any type of object to invoke this method as we know that after compilation this class file will be created we will create a class file jvm will create a class file for your simple okay this uh, this class simple so for jvm this method should be invoked directly okay without any object that is the reason why we declare the entry point of our entry point or entry function of our class as a static then void as we know this main function returns nothing so it should be return type should be void void only then main it is main it is a main function then we are having string arguments these are used to pass arguments through console to the java program right and the system dot out dot print line it is a statement which is used to print any statement in java so this is about a simple program in java now we'll see there are some variations to this uh, public static word main method um, i have written here n number of declaration okay the, see the first one it is the same as i have written same as i have written in the program and the in second i'm having just one space between string and the argument it is also valid then we are having this argument after this uh, args variable this is also valid then in the fourth one we are having dot 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 this is nothing but the uh, this array okay parenthesis it is also valid then we are having static keyword before obviously it is valid then we are having two another type that is a final word main and the final public static word main we will see the use of this final keyword later so right now just remember this this is also a valid type of java main method okay now we will see what have happened after you compile your program right so after compilation after compilation your your compiler will create a simple class file or the simple class file or the bytecode for your simple java program so here for the simple java program simple class file will be created now what happened at the runtime this is very important huh? so at a runtime uh, already we are having class file that was that was created by compiler then we are having the class loader class loader it is one of the part of the jvm which will invoke or which will um, load a class files automatically right at a dynamic or a dynamically then we are having this bytecode verifier this bytecode verifier will check the code fragments for any illegal code that violate access right to the objects okay then we are having interpreter interpreter just execute the instructions runtime runtime it is one of the uh, very important component of your jvm which will run your program okay so it is a com combination of jvm and the J java api and lastly we are having hardware the jvm handles any system calls of operating system as well as hardware 